Megan, can you hand me the four or five? Four. He'll trot on the green map. Oh yeah, we get to trot on green instead of concrete. Right. Much safer. <laughs> okay, here are his Thanks. Thank you. I just wanna have fun, clap my hands, turn around now and dance, dance, dance. I just wanna have fun, clap my hands, turn around now and dance, dance, dance. I, I, I just wanna have fun, clap my hands, turn around now and dance, yep. dance, dance. I just wanna have fun, clap my hands, turn around now and dance, dance, dance. I just wanna, sure. I just wanna clap, clap, turn around, turn around, dance, 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 dance. I just wanna, I just wanna clap, clap, turn around, turn around, dance, dance, dance. One day I will be like professional. I'm just faking it. Lassie! Okay. Whenever you're ready. He is, he is all about his strawberries. Hi, my name is Elisa Wallace, and this is my horse, Rankin Corsair, uh, known in the barn as Kaz. And uh, he's very funny as he loves strawberries. That is his unique uh, thing. It's just his favorite treat. And uh, he's competing in the four star this weekend. Overloaded our plug over here, so I'm trying to get to the plug across the stalls so we can have our bucket heater going because it's cold and it's nice to have warm water all the time. So that's what I'm trying to accomplish. Failing at the moment. Caught me taking a deep breath. 
So you're 127, what was our hotel number? Our hotel is very coincidental. Our hotel number, well, our hotel room was 127. It's weird. And then um, our camping site is 27. Funny, funny story, funny coincidences. So, but it's a beautiful day, nice and brisk. Got my hat on and my warm clothes, feeling good. Excited to be at Kentucky. How do you spend this day? So we came in last night. What are you doing today? Uh, so, so we got in, yeah, yesterday, and it's the calm before the storm. So just kept taking calves out on lots of uh, grazing. He went out hacking this morning, so just nice, loose, did a little bit of trot, a little bit of canter, and then uh, he'll do some dressage this afternoon. Uh, and just kind of treating him like how I would at home, like his schedule at home would be. And um, enjoying the time now, just getting uh, everything cleaned and uh, ready for this week. I know it's funny how it can, like, one horse can fill up your day. So taking him out because, again, they are, we don't have turnout here, so there's no paddock. So we like to take them out, have them graze a lot, and uh, he'll get some body work done. My dad and Briggs are on their way. Uh, they actually should be here now, I think, um, with the camper that we're staying in. So we we're staying over in the campsite. And uh, Briggs will be doing some of the body work on him. And then he also will be getting magna waved. So uh, hoping that he'll feel nice and good. Fergus, no barkies. And uh, deep breaths. Deep breaths. How do you know where to put the... Oh, I know he's just, um, he's, he gets tight in his shoulders, so. It's just more so like a full body. One that I like to do, which is set on low, because we have to have it low for FBI. Um, but it does a good job of just helping get the muscles nice and relaxed and have them feeling good. But not hungry. That's a first. Try one bite. That's <laughs> funny. They're good. That's okay. She's good at that. Very good. Your other one? Yeah, there's a black one. <laughs> what on earth is happening? I see it. How are you gonna get it? You're gonna break the thing. Oh, you got it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you. It's all my layers. I got one, two, three layers on right now. No, Megan has on one pair of pants and one shirt. I have on two pairs of pants and three shirts. I like to be warm. I have Clear my boot. I have to clean them because she only cleaned like three corners of them. Well, I'm in a... Yeah. You flexed your ankle wrong. Ah, that's stretching my hip. <laughs> you gotta get in the crack. I don't have a toothbrush. No, we gotta get toothbrushes. Give me the other one. I'm just gonna play audio only. <laughs> So here is Kaz in the afternoon doing the dressage uh, work and um, just working on getting him to come over his back and um, doing a couple of the movements that I have in my test, but I'm not going to really practice my test because he's the type of horse that's going to anticipate. So uh, just going through here, working on getting his rib cage getting him to sit underneath and to lift up. Kind of one of the things I have to work on with him is that he doesn't get too low in the pole and kind of get a little bit behind the vertical. So uh, again, just working a little bit here in some counter canter. And he's really gotten a lot stronger, uh, which has been nice to kind of feel. He's not anticipating doing a lead change or throwing his body and then the transition to the trot is quite nice and the same going into the canter 
and again going to the right I'm going to do a little bit of half pass work here working on getting the bend through the rib cage and there he wanted to anticipate a little bit doing a flying change and he got a little low in the pole but that's what we do the practice for. And again in the counter canner to the left. And just working on making sure I can go forward in the canter and come back. Having that accordion feeling and then asking for the change. And it was a nice clean change. For him, the left to right is the stronger of the changes is right to left is the harder of the two but I'm going to make sure I reward him for that change give him a couple of pats and then uh, just in the trot work he's been really good we've been working all year on getting some passage steps so getting him to kind of load the hind end and uh, really trying to work on so I can free up his front end with his shoulders and so the medium trots and extended trots are getting a lot better so then I can get his shoulders much freer and up and out and he, and he started to offer some really good steps uh, through here I made sure I told him he was a good boy and then you can see the lift in the shoulders are getting better and better so again just playing with the going forward and coming back and I thought that's some really good work there. And I'm going to give him a nice pat. So I was really, really pleased with his uh, work for the day. And uh, really excited for this week. Shut your mouth. Sorry. Pocket? Don't egg him on either. Why did you move to on top of me? Because he got in trouble. It was bedtime. Oh, stop. <laughs>